If you look into the world today, and indeed even into your own life, you will see a pervasive haphazardness. You will notice a certain degree of turmoil that has been ongoing for decades. It is not that one's entire life is in turmoil necessarily. It is that there is a constant undercurrent of visceral unrest. A constant undercurrent of visceral unrest. There are so many things that I once did not know. I was simply unaware of them. And my life was impacted by the consequences of this lack of knowledge. We do not come into this world with an instruction manual for life. And even if we did, the interpretation would still be left to us. And because the interpretation would be based upon our preconceived beliefs, we would likely fail, even with a manual placed firmly into our hands. What I did not know years ago, I have come to learn. I do not know if this came about through grace or some other unexplained force in the universe. But I cannot help but to believe that my desire for truth being the central core of my existence was in some way contributory. The idea of my living life being one way and being completely unaware that it could have been some magnificent way, if only I had the necessary insight and knowledge, is an idea that drives me at the level of the marrow. Rare is the man who has control of his life. Rare is he who holds it by the reins. Rare is he who drives it precisely in the direction he wishes it to go, and thus becomes a master of his own existence. Perhaps there are many who do not share in the following sentiment, but I will state it with the most heartfelt sincerity I possess. What in a man's life could be more important than to become his own master? And how could this not be at the core of any man's central thoughts and desires? The secret I have learned is this. In order to control your life, there is a highly specific, systematic, and detailed way it must be done, or else it will not work. I must tell you that when I first learned this, I was confused by the universe's decision to create such a design for the fate of man. I thought to myself, how can the universe have such a high demand for man? How can it expect that man will somehow stumble upon such specific insights without being shown the way? It's akin to asking the common man to be well-versed in the physics of jet propulsion. As I sit writing this discourse, a few pale yellow leaves fall sideways from a limp tree outside my library window. And as they fall, a thought occurs to me in real time. It's almost as if the universe is providing me a response to the question I just posed in the midst of composing this discourse. The question it has just posed to me is this. How did those leaves know to fall when they did? The answer, of course, is that they didn't know to fall. They just fell when the time was ripe. Perhaps it is the same with stumbling upon the secrets to controlling our life. It isn't so much that we acquire them through toil. It is perhaps that they fall into us when the time is ripe. And the time is ripe when our desire to know them is ripe. We come upon these secrets either directly through the universe or by way of a teacher, a chance meeting, or providence. Continuing on with the secret, there is a precise order of systematic explorations that must take place before your life comes under your control. One of these explorations is your relationship to the desires that sit deep in your heart. There is a particular desire that sits deep within your heart and it has followed you for years. You've perhaps never told anyone about it and it has yet to be satisfied. It has yet to be achieved. It has yet to be overcome. And you've agonized over it for years and years. It sits within your heart. And it is one of the obstacles that stands in the way between you and truly owning your life. I'm not telling you to remove it or satisfy it or ignore it. It is not my way to tell you what to do. I'm simply telling you that it's standing in your way. I'll leave the rest to your good graces. This is one step in these precise orchestration of explorations that must take place. And once this and the others have occurred, your body deflates into a sort of relaxation that you've never felt 
in all your life. And soon after this occurs, your life becomes a benediction.